Uh, How long does this typically go on? Oh, at I, some point in time, there's we have like people coming in now the buildings that don't like to be filmed, right? So victims, witnesses, things like that. So I, I'm just about how long are you going to be here? How's it going guys? I'm again to press. Coming to you today from the office of the district attorney in Centennial, Colorado. Um, we're going to go take a walk inside and uh, see how these folks are doing today and see if they honor and respect our right to uh, take photographs and video in a, public a publicly accessible area of a government building. Uh, with watching the watchman today and uh, let's go inside and take a look. So we have uh, Old Glory, not much of a breeze today, but I uh, always like to give a salute to Old Glory. All right. So we may have reached our first problem. All persons entering this building are subject to search or refusal to enter. The following items are prohibited. Illicit drugs, guns, knives, or other weapons and or dangerous items and unauthorized photographic and recording devices. Okay, so this will be interesting. Call the receptionist to gain access. Yes, hi, how are you? Um, are we able to come in? Oh, we're just here to take a look at the building. We're just here to take a look at, I'm with my son and my wife, and we're just here to take a look at the, uh, my son's a high school student here locally, and we're just here to take a look at the government building. We can't come in and take photographs. I'm not taking photographs. I have a uh, video camera. We're not allowed to come in and take video. Is this a publicly accessible building then? To my right. Okay. Okay, it says unauthorized photographic and recording devices, so I don't know what, what exactly that reference is. Okay. All right, so I'm being told that, uh, I don't know if I'm... Well, ma'am, you just contradicted yourself. A, a government building is a public building. You don't allow public access. Where does it say that? Sure it does. It's a government building, and I'm interested in coming in and taking a look at it. And I'm willing to go through security check or whatever you have. That's not an issue. Okay, yeah, if you can call investigations, I'd be happy to stand here and wait for them. All right, thank you. Bye. Okay, so we have a lady here at the desk who is uh, telling me that this is not a public building, it's a government building. And uh, we are not allowed in with cameras um, or unless we are a defendant or someone who has legal business here. Um, I don't know. I wish you guys could have heard that conversation. The most concerning part about the conversation to me is, like I said, she said that it's not a uh, public building, it's a government building. So she's going to have uh, some authority figure here come outside and uh, continue this conversation with me, and we'll uh, see how that goes. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Michael Dixon, and he's your chief investigating officer. That's perfect. I appreciate your assistance, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. See you shortly. All right, so somebody named Michael Dixon, who's the chief investigating officer here, will be coming out in a moment to speak to us. Well, we're subject to refusal to enter is what it says on this sign here. Um, 
how legit that is is something to be discussed. I think she's actually blocking her face with a piece of paper. It's very strange. I don't know what these people are hiding. Well, first of all, I mean, you have people that are members of the public. If you're a defendant or if you're somebody that does have business here, you're coming into this building and whatever's readily visible to you uh, should not be anything private or anything uh, classified. So I don't assume that they have private information out available in public areas of this building. And uh, I can't imagine what the problem is, but... Hopefully Mr. Dixon comes out and speaks to us and we can at least get an explanation of what the situation is. Take it from there. How you doing? First of all, I gotta tell you, I'm glad you brought backup because my wife is very strong. Okay, so it's a good, it's good, th good thing you got backup. Go you got guns, backup, and everything for a couple of guys with cameras? Well, I'm just talking to you. Oh, okay. Did you want to I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to be yourself. comical here and lighten the mood, that's all. Okay. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. Are you, are you upset about something before we start? Because we can clear that up and then proceed. No, I'm, I'm not okay. upset at all. Okay. So, Specifically, what are you what are you trying to do? So this is my first of all, my name is Jason. Michael, nice to meet you. Pleasure Jason. to meet you, Michael. What is your name, sir? Doing? Derek. Derek, yeah. Jason. Nice to meet you. How are you? Chris, Jason. Nice this is my son Ben. Hi, Ben. Uh, this is my wife, and Hi. Hi. we're just stopping by to take a look at a public building. Okay. That's about it. Okay. It's I as simple as that. I'm, I'm, then what? So what is? Do you, do you need our assistance or what? No, no, the lady at the front reception, I picked up the phone. Okay. Uh, perfectly want to go through whatever security you have. I don't have any weapons or anything on me. Um, and we're just interested as taxpayers that live in the community to come by and just take a look at the building. My son goes to high school here locally and we're, he's working on a little history of the area that he's doing and we're just okay. out taking some pictures so, and video. So I don't know what what part are you trying to well we don't want to access any restricted areas anything oh, that we're okay. not allowed to go into just the just the lobby and wh whatever's a publicly yeah. accessible area yeah the publicly accessible area is exactly where you're at here and then right just inside this lobby here that's fine um but yeah I, I, we don't have any yeah no that's all it is but i think there's i don't think that she quite understood what you were no probably well, it's hard through the phone i can't even see her because of the Hi. hello ma'am how are you so this is our lobby so i shake hands with you but my name is jason What's your name? Sherry. Sherry. Nice to meet you, Sherry. All right, good. No, we just want to come by and take a look at the building. It's nice, interesting architecture. Yep. Um, that's so it? This is, the, this is it. Okay. We use that for a, a soft uh, meetings place, and uh, that's pretty much it. People come in to get uh, access to maybe uh, reports or things like that that, that maybe we have. And, Okay. And does this building only ho uh, house the uh, district attorney? Is there any other offices in here or is that it? No, it's district attorney. District attorney. Okay. Yep. So investigators um, and then uh, DAs. Okay. Very cool. cool. And is there any public information? Are there any pamphlets or anything that give us an idea of what your services are or what? I think oh, there you go. I didn't even see that. Anything you may need is right there. Okay. So is it all right if I take a moment and just look at that stuff? And Absolutely. All right. Great. If you guys need anything else, scream at us. I certainly appreciate your help. I, and, and just let me tell you, I appreciate your professional. I know we might have started off a little rough there for an instant, but I think you came around. I, I, and I appreciate your... I just, I just wanted to make sure what we, were, what we were trying to do to get there. That's your job. I get it, man. I understand. Okay. No, but I appreciate your uh, cordial demeanor and your professionalism. Thank you. All righty. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. You too. All right. So we have some pamphlets here for uh, crime victim rights. Don't be a victim of bad checks. Yeah, that's uh, good advice if you can... Don't take checks. I can't even believe anybody writes checks anymore these days. Okay. So you were saying this is kind of like a... Uh, I guess interview meeting room. 
the brain's response to inhalants. And uh, yeah, that's it. So the rest of this, uh, rest of the building is off limits and uh, restricted. So we certainly don't want to go into any areas we're not allowed in. Pardon me. Thank you. So if I don't know if you can see in here, but they have some uh, watchmen. I'm sure will get a better image with his zoom lens but they have a poster up there of cold case homicides and missing persons um, very cool the sign-in sheet here public notice audio monitoring on these premises I guess we don't have to sign in because we're not going in which I guess when you're at the district attorney's office it's a good thing to not have to go in right well because we can't go in if I could go in I'd be happy to sign in yes yes they did Oh, they told us to stay in this area and we'll do No, I, I totally get secure areas and restricted areas and we're not looking to violate that. Well, I'm sorry, it has to be so, you know, I just, it's just my job. I'm sorry, was Sharon? Sharon, you're just doing your job. Yeah. I get that, I understand. You. You don't, I, we don't want to get you in trouble. We don't want you to do anything you're not supposed to do. Right, right. Um, and I appreciate you calling somebody who was in a position to make that decision and yeah, so they made, yeah. No, that's great. Okay. okay. And what we do also is part of what we're doing is we're, we're big supporters of the uh, Constitution, the U.S. Constitution, okay, in its entirety. But what we generally focus on is our right to take video and photographs in public okay. and in publicly accessible areas of government-owned buildings and property, okay. okay? So at first, I thought this was going to be a fail for you because you wouldn't let us in. But you did... You followed protocol, you did what you have to do, and I un totally understand that. Those guys came out, they were very professional, let us into the lobby, and so yeah. I would have to say you guys uh, passed. Yeah, I always have to go up to the chain of command. Of course, no, I get it, I get it, of course. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have lasted this long if I hadn't done my job. How long have you been working here? Almost eight years. Eight years, at this building? Uh -huh. And you have a big, you have, yes. you have a big smile on your face, so I guess you enjoy your job? I do. Good. I Excellent. That's good. No, we like to see happy people working and uh, yeah. serving the public and, you know, Absolutely. it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, no, that's great. No, and you seem like you have a good attitude. Yeah, thank you. Alrighty. No, no problem. Thank you. We appreciate it. Do you know, just so I can also, just what I just explained to you, is Officer Dixon far away? Can I just, is there any way you can call him and just ask him to come back for a second so I can just tell him what? Um, one of those guys wasn't Mr. Dixon. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Okay, because I would just like to be forthcoming with him and tell him what we're doing and just be on our way. If he could, if he's not busy, sure. Thank you. No, but you take your time. Thank you. I'm nice and warm. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. So we're just waiting for one of the security officers to come back out and. Uh, just want to reiterate what I told the young lady here at the desk and let him know uh, exactly why we're here. And I just have one other quick question for, uh, for him as well. Oh, here we go. All Hi. right, I'm sorry to take you away from here, whatever you were doing again. Oh, don't worry. Uh, but just two quick things. Sure. One, I just want to let you know that part of what we're doing, I gave you a general idea of what we're doing, but I just want to give you a little more specifics. Sure. Um, what we're doing is a First Amendment audit. Okay. Okay. So what we do is, um, as I told you, this is my son. So him and I, if your attention's there, I'll wait for you. I'm 100% listening to you. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Good. You got my attention. All right. So I just, I just felt like I wanted to tell you what we're honestly doing here. So we go into government buildings, publicly accessible areas. I'm, I'm aware of what a first, uh, amendment first amendment audit is. Yep. Okay. So that's what we're doing. The cause. You bet. Okay. So just want to let you know that. Yep. And uh, how long does this typically go on? Oh, at I, some point in time. There's, we have like people coming in now the buildings that don't like to be filmed, right? So victims, witnesses, things like that. So I, I'm just about how long are you gonna be here? 
Well, all right, well, that's, that's, you just gave me a lot to chew on. Um, as far as victims and that kind of thing, if, if this is a public lobby, then this is a public area and there's no expectation of privacy in public. Well, so not, that's- There's no argument, there's no debate. I'm not- I'm Yeah, I'm not arguing or debating. You asked me a question, question so I'm- you was, how long do you typically do these? Okay, well then my simple question to you would be, are you willing to show us any other areas of the building with yourself as a guided uh, tour? The, the public. Access, just like you because you see how it says visible identification required beyond this point, so that leads me to believe that that hallway is probably public access. Well, no, because so I'm just asking. Have, you don't have visible ID. Pu visible ID is required past the elevator point. Right here. It says past this point, and it says Heard past that said. point, like into I'm that door. You, this door. After that, you'll need to be. You have to have access to it. You don't. Okay. Are you? I see. Since you, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Just man to man, human to human. When you first walked out that door, since the moment you've walked out the door, I, I'm detecting like a little bit of an attitude from you, and I'm trying my best to de-escalate that, even with a little bit of humor outside. And the right word, but whatever you'd like to use. Is there anything else you need? Um, well, yeah, I would like to, okay. you know, as a member of the public, I would just like to come in and be treated with a little bit of respect and not be Sorry, treated. I feel like you weren't treated with respect. I well, anything disrespectful to you whatsoever. So okay. I won't be engaging in this process. Other than what you've already talked about, what we've talked about, do you need anything else? You no, I just restricted access. So anything else? I'm not looking to go into restricted access, but it doesn't right. say anything about anything restricted else? access on this door. So that's what I was I was so asking I'm you. going to go back to my duties? Yes, you know what? Right the now isn't part of this. So okay. If you need anything else. I do. Specific. I do. Okay. What else do you need? If you let me ask you, I need your business card. Okay. I can, I can get one. Okay. I'll wait. And bring it with you. Sounds good. That's a dramatic contrast between Sharon's attitude and security's attitude, I'll tell you that. Shannon's got a big, Sharon's got a big smile on her face and seems like a very happy, helpful person. Nice. Is this a miserable place to work? Oh, okay. Well, you look like you have a smile on your face. You look like you're in a decent mood and you just want to get through your Friday and have your weekend. Yeah, exactly. I get that. Yeah. But, you know, I think we, uh, the world gets along, along a lot better with a smile and a friendly attitude, which you, you certainly have, so I'm not directing that at you. Yeah. I try to be as pleasant as I can, but, you know. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah, why, exactly. Yeah, no, why not? I don't know. We're going to see. Yeah. The, the, wide open. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. They have, they have kids have off from uh, school all next week for the holiday. So we'll have some extra time on our hands and see what we can do. No, so, so you know what, man, we're just, I'm a very, very uh, proud American and I'm proud of our constitution and I'm proud of the rights that we have. And rights are like muscles. If you don't exercise them, sometimes they go away. So that's all we're doing is exercising our rights. No nefarious activities, no ill will. Simple as that. Is what it is. There you go. So, Michael, how do you pronounce your last name? Bonacani. Bonacani, good Italian name. Yes, right a little bit. All right. Well, Thanks. You have a good day, sir. I appreciate your card. And oh, can I ask you a question? How long have you had those signs, though? Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Well, you have a good day, Michael. Thank you. All righty. Thank you. Wow. All right. Well, uh, Chris, I appreciate your good demeanor, and I appreciate your smile and friendly attitude. Really. I mean, I don't know if it's genuine or not, but you're coming across that way, so thank you. Right? You know, especially... He's a 16-year-old local kid that goes to high school here, and no reason for the kid to grow up with a bad taste of government. You know, it's a nice thing to just be treated nicely and fairly, and that's all we're looking for. Same way I'm treating you. Yeah, absolutely. All right, buddy. Yeah. Have a good day and enjoy your weekend. You as well. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, that is the uh, district office of the district attorney, 18th Judicial District. Uh, Michael Bonaconti was the uh, security officer that we just spoke to, and um, I don't know. I'm a little uh, I'm a little on the fence on this one. I'm not sure um, whether or not Mr. Bonaconti. Um, I don't know. I just I, I'm I'm not very comfortable with his attitude and his behavior and the way he was acting, and uh, he really wasn't interested in discussing it at all. So I don't know if you guys have any uh, 
issues or questions or concerns uh, with anything that you saw here today. Um, Mr. Bonaconti's card is right here and his phone number is 720-875-8184. Um, and you can see his name there, Michael Bonaconti. So uh, again, as I always say, if anybody chooses to call up with any questions or concerns or any redress, um, please keep it in a business-like conversation. Please no cursing, uh, foul language, disrespect. Um, if you have a genuine concern, genuine question, feel free to call up and ask these guys. They are your public servants and you have every right to do so. Um, but I don't know. I mean, Sharon behind the counter was just doing her job and I get that and uh, I think she uh, was fair and got somebody here who could make the call and they let us in. Uh, they do have a right to refuse entry according to their policy sign, which we could uh, get into the legality of. Um, so they did let us into the lobby. I'll give them that. And uh, that's it. They answered a couple of questions for us. But I, you know, I guess there's no law that says somebody has to be personable and somebody has to have a nice attitude. So that's a shame. There should be. Um, we try to be as respectful as we can be always. And uh, again, if you guys, anybody's going to call up and... Uh, have any questions or concerns we ask you to do the same so i guess that's it for now um coming to you from the 18th judicial district office of the district attorney in centennial colorado watching the watchman amagansett press we'll see you on the next one guys out <laughs>